a dream for thousands of MS and PhD aspirants all across the globe with state of the art programs in computing, business, engineering alongside many others. Also known as CNU, this university in Pittsburgh is ranked among the top 10 best US universities with its current ranking coming in at an impressive number 6. With 10 interdisciplinary majors to choose from, over 30 research centers on campus and facilities in Silicon Valley for software engineering students, it is no surprise that this university is in such high demand for MS and PhD aspirants looking to start their careers on such a high note. Hi, my name is Vinso Rachel Sam and I am here to tell you about what it takes to get accepted into CMU, the programs offered, the application deadlines and the tuition fees and most importantly, show you profiles of the students who have actually received CME admits so that you can plan your application a whole lot better. We are also giving away the ultimate code to cracking the admission process at the end of the video. So if you are looking for your ticket to CMU, make sure you don't miss out. Ready to start? Let's go. Admission requirements at CMU. Here's what you need to fulfill to get in. With an overall acceptance rate of 19.7% for MS aspirants that drops down to just 12.3% for PhD courses, cracking a CMU admit can be tough, especially when you're going up against some of the best minds of the world. Take a look at the average GRE, TOEFL scores and CGPA of the students admitted. Wondering how to convert your 10 point CGPA to the 4 point system? Take a look at this table to get a rough idea of where you stand. Feel free to pause the video. To sum it up, these are the 6 documents that form the framework of your application. Your GRE score report, your TOEFL or IELTS score report, your statement of purpose, 3 LORs, academic transcripts and your resume. To increase your admit chances at CMU, emphasize on your research experience paper publications or even your final year project in your SOP clearly. Talk about your learning and how it was instrumental in shaping your future aspirations. Since CMU is highly selective, research-centric profiles have a better shot at receiving an admit. Top courses at CMU and their deadlines. What are the hottest courses to pursue at Carnegie Mellon? Let's check out the individual program rankings and application deadlines for the fall intake. Feel free to pause the video and note them down, lest you forget them later. Why apply by November 30th? Well, for starters, you save a lot of money. When you apply by 30th of November, your application fee is $75 and you pay an additional $50 for each course that you choose. You can also continue to edit your application until the 10th of December. Apply after the 30th and you end up paying $125 for the application and another $75 for every additional course. Applying early also saves you the stress of having to cope with technical difficulties while submitting your application due to increased server traffic around the time of regular deadlines. Support for international students. With more than 31% of the student bodies hailing from Asian countries, CMU has one of the most ethnically diverse student bodies. The Office of International Education assists students with almost everything right from the application process to finding the right housing facilities and also checking the status of their visa and many more. With many students leaving their home country for the very first time, an entire department called the Intercultural Communication Center helps a student to develop fluency and cultural understanding. Looking for a scholarship? While most of the students who apply for the master programs are self-funded, there is a board that handles fellowships for deserving Indian students. It is called the Science and Engineering Research Board Fellowship Program India. It is managed by the Office of the Vice Provost for the International Programs and Strategy. Student Profiles Here are a few profiles of some GRE Ed students who successfully cracked the code to CMU. But wait, how did some of them get an admit despite not meeting the GRE score criteria? Can you do it too? Yes. As promised, here's an exclusive code to CMU ebook for everything you need to know about securing an admit, find in-depth profile analysis of most students who got accepted and the ideal application process you need to follow. Find the link in the description below to download your ebook for free so that you can start your admit winning application to CMU today. I hope you now know a bit more about getting into CMU than you did a few minutes ago. Our next university review is going to be on another highly coveted university in Coca-Cola County, Atlanta. You guessed that right, 
Next on our list of universities is the Georgia Institute of Technology, also known as Georgia Tech. If you like this video and want more content like this, then subscribe to GRE Edge Online Academy. But for now, this is Vintu Rachel Sam signing off.